We have a 30 degree spread in temperature across the UP, so if you don't like the season you're in, just drive over to the next county. It's 47 degrees in Ontonagon, 56 in Houghton, 57 degrees in Marquette, spots near the Wisconsin border, sitting into the 70s. It's 76 degrees in Iron Mountain and 52 degrees in Escanaba, and a lot of this is tied to the wind direction we have across the UP. So in Escanaba, the winds are out of the east-southeast off of Lake Michigan. In Marquette, we're now picking up on the north northeast East breeze off of Lake Superior at 16 miles per hour that has cooled the temperature down compared to where we were earlier this afternoon. And in Iron Mountain, we have a light breeze out of the southeast, which is completely a land breeze in that area. So we're seeing our warmest temperatures setting up for those spots along the Wisconsin border. We're seeing a blend of sun and clouds across the area. The showers we had earlier this morning have moved off to the east, but there's another round of showers that will be on the way in later tonight. So most of this evening evening is dry, but it's going to be after midnight that our chances of rain begin to increase again, and that is going to continue into uh, the first half of the day tomorrow. So for now, it's dry across the area, but I'm watching this next low pressure system coming out of Kansas. There's a front that's become stationary. It's basically acting like a warm front out ahead of this low pressure system with lots of warm air off to the south of it. And there's some moisture back on the western side of this storm system currently affecting South Dakota. We'll see waves of moisture riding up along this boundary, increasing our chances of rain as we go later on into tonight. So as we go after midnight, showers moving into first western parts of the UP, but central areas could also see a couple showers late tonight on into tomorrow morning. Then a lot of us are going to catch breaks of dry weather throughout the area tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. And then our next round of some rain will be moving in early Thursday and we are going to have scattered showers in the forecast for both Thursday and Friday. Your hometown forecast for tonight showers developing late lows near 41 degrees in Houghton, 43 degrees in Escanaba, about 40 degrees in Ishpeming. For tomorrow, another day with a wide range of temperatures throughout the area. Highs getting into the 70s for some spots close to the Wisconsin border. 53 degrees in Houghton, 58 degrees in Marquette, 57 in Escanaba, and getting into the 60s for interior parts of Marquette County. And here's a look at potential rainfall amounts as we go throughout the next few days. And what I'm highlighting is that the heaviest rainfall will be for western sections of the UP, where we could see some amounts over the next few days totaling more than one inch with less lesser amounts of rainfall more likely looking towards the eastern half of the UP. So for tomorrow, our greatest chance of rain will be early in the day with morning temperatures in the 40s, then drying out highs near 62 degrees. That's going to be for spots away from the lakeshore in Marquette County. Evening temperatures in the 50s. Then for Thursday, morning temperatures upper 40s and 50s. We'll have more showers moving into the area. Highs near 63 degrees. For Friday, morning temperatures in the middle and upper 40s. It's going to be a little bit cooler and looking damp for Friday. Periods of showers, highs near 54 degrees. Saturday morning will be in the 40s and probably starting dry for the first part of Saturday but our chances of showers will increase for Saturday afternoon and evening. High temperatures for Saturday near 55 degrees. On Sunday, we'll start the day with a chance of showers, morning temperatures in the upper 30s and 40s, then probably drying out as the day goes on with highs in the lower to middle 50s.